The arrival of video discs was received with much ballyhoo on the part of producers in recent years and with very little acceptance on the part of the consumer. Now there is new hope for success. Leonard Malton has that story. King Kong has good reason to be upset. In the more than 50 years since his film was made, many prints and even negatives have become badly worn and damaged. The old ape could do nothing more than stand by and swallow it. But this print is in remarkable shape, and there's a reason for that. Thanks to a Los Angeles-based company called Criterion, King Kong of the 30s has found his way onto Laserdisc of the 80s. A laser actually reads the signal electronically. There is no deterioration. No matter how many times you use it, the, the disc itself can be handled. It's virtually indestructible, and the image remains as good as it was the day you bought it for innumerable uses. King Kong on disc was recorded from the original film negative in the Library of Congress. Criterion has also put Citizen Kane on disc and hopes to add more titles to the library. Beyond the advantages of picture quality and durability, Laserdisc also gives the serious film student instant access to any scene to study frame by frame if he wants with perfect clarity. I suppose I want to go back and rewatch that scene. There you are. You've, you've done it in, in a flash. Once people get the controls in their hands, they sit there and they see, for instance, special effects in King Kong. Uh, you see how a film is made. Other parts of the Criterion package are a special audio channel for King Kong with background commentary from film scholar Ron Haver. Now watch very carefully when Kong picks up a ray. And visual essays following each film which describe how they were made. It's a lot of information packed into it and it's fascinating. It's a whole new departure in studying film, I think. This video disc library may be the greatest boon yet to film buffs. A perfect marriage of Hollywood's oldest treasures and the video world's newest technology. I'm Leonard Malton, Entertainment Tonight.